in Bangkok and this is the amazing bathroom in our hotel but I think it's more of a couple's room because if I look through here I can see Declan in the bedroom and this is the bath. Just to note that we did close the blind in the bathroom so we weren't showering so each other could see. And yes, our bedroom did have a double bed. I'm not really sure what happened there. They definitely thought we were a couple. Let's go out and explore in Bangkok. Woo! Yes. First thing I noticed was the amount of wires that were just everywhere. And the first thing I did was had to get a nice refreshing lychee drink. Got some food and this was so cheap, it was only three pounds. Top left, that is the skyline. And we got on that to get back because we walked for so long we didn't really want to have to walk all the way back. Kind of forgot it was Christmas because here it's so hot it just feels like I'm on a summer holiday. We then walked back to the hotel and planned what we were going to do. We'd been awake for over 30 hours. City Chic Hotel and one of the guys that worked there very kindly dropped us off. We were presented by lots and lots of people. We'd actually stumbled across a protest. I was pleasantly surprised at how peaceful it was. The only thing that happened was the amount of people we couldn't find where the train stop was so we did get a little bit lost. It was so nice just walking along the streets and seeing all these different foods that are available and you could see them being made right before your eyes. We eventually found the railway station and we made our way to go see the Golden Buddha. I'd imagine it being a little bit bigger but it is the world's largest solid gold statue. I of course had to visit Chinatown, I just had to, if you didn't know, I am half Chinese. So I had to go explore and see if I could find any goodies. I really love cuttlefish and I really really wanted some sweet meat. But I did find that they didn't actually have any sweet meat but I did get my fill on this trip of lots of cuttlefish. The meal on the right was actually for two people to share, so I was nice and full. We had done a half an hour walk from the station, so I needed lots of food, and then we were going to walk to the reclining Buddha. I didn't imagine that this one would be so big as the Golden Buddha was a lot smaller, but this one is not solid gold. When we were walking around we were wondering what the noise was, and it turns out that these pots, people would put coins into each one. So that we decided to go when we were walking there we had someone come up to us and saying that it was closed but we didn't listen and we went anyway but he was trying to sell us really cheap tuk-tuk tours it was only 40 baht but what actually they were doing is they get commission by certain stores if they bring people there so i'm glad we ignored them because it was so amazing around we saw lots of cats and Jacqueline told me that people if they didn't want their pets they could donate them to the temples and the monks would look after them. We've stopped because the man had to go buy something so we're just that. Still Still in a tourist. Don't have a clue. <laughs> Driver. <laughs> <laughs> this tuk-tuk driver was saying he needed to avoid the traffic and the way that he was going was going by his house. So after the shop we then swung by his house and we picked up his wife and then we got dropped off. Unfortunately, when we were going around, we couldn't find the Emerald Buddha, and that was because it was closed. We were told to come back tomorrow, but we didn't really want to do three days around the same area. So we 
to Golden Mount, but then they just kept being like, oh, go this way, we go to a fashion. No. no. We just want to go to Golden Mount. So now we're walking. We don't really know where we're going. You think you'd ask the taxi to take you and they take you, but they try and sell you another way and then you have to walk off and find your own way. That's what we're doing. So hopefully we'll be there soon. Hopefully we'll see it in the distance. Mango, mango. Luckily we found the Golden Mount without help of the Tuk Tuk's. Luckily someone they let us look at the map so we roughly knew where to go. of this place a lot of people said it's quite steep and it was hard to make it to the top but I really didn't find this and it was a really hot day but it wasn't hard to make it to the top at all Red Sky Bar and it took us forever to find this entire Grand Hotel. So it is the morning and this is our last few hours in Bangkok. So we've just packed up and we're about to soon after I have my noodles go to the airport and we're going to fly to Chiang Mai sad to leave Bangkok Ooh. and this is the master yummy noodles and then we shall be away so happy with my stay at the city chic hotel for our stay in Bangkok it was only around 70 or so pounds for I think it was three nights we were there so that's super cheap there's also a swimming pool and a gym which we didn't use because we were so busy but I just thought I'd share my experience with this hotel. It was really good and this is not sponsored. I just thought I'd let you guys know. Morning, so I just woke up. Um, hence, no makeup face. I'm in Jacqueline's house. This is their lounge. And how high and amazing the ceilings. So pretty. Their house is so beautiful. <laughs> to go out on the tandem just had our bike ride and that was really scary and I haven't biked in ages so my legs are really hurt now sunbathing time
Jumbo Tong. I got this for my birthday from my brother and his girlfriend and I only just got around to using it today and this is really good like before with curlers where the barrel's thinner you get really tight curls and you have to brush them and let them drop out but these the curl was really nice and it has dropped out quite a 